Sometimes the best way to point out a serious problem is to just make fun of it. This morning, Illinois Congressman Louise Gutierrez used pictures of pop icons and basketball stars to rail against Arizona's immigration policy. Here's his guess, the immigrant quiz. Let's take a quiz together this morning and learn how to pick out the suspects. Here are two journalists, Vera and Ted Koppel. At a traffic stop, to the untrained eye, we might guess that Geraldo Rivera, for some reason that clearly has nothing to do with the way he looks, might not be from America. Geraldo Rivera's mustache wouldn't confuse an Arizona law enforcement professional. They would know that Geraldo was born in Brooklyn, New York, and that Ted Koppel was born in Europe, in England. Round two. This is for our young C-SPAN. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. These young people have overcome their very different national origins and become apparently a happy couple. I'm sure Justin helped Gomez learn all about American customs and feel more at home in her adopted country. Oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, because I'm not a trained Arizona official. I somehow got that backwards. Actually, Ms. Gomez of Texas has helped Mr. Bieber of Canada learn about his adopted country. Justin, when you perform in Phoenix, remember to bring your papers. Here are two basketball superstars. Neither one's Latino. That's confusing already. You have to dig deeper to figure out who isn't the real American. So let's consider their names. Jeremy Lin and Tony Parker. Clearly, Lynn sounds kind of foreign, while Tony Parker sounds American to me. But I'm not an Arizona police officer who would know that Jeremy Lynn was born in Los Angeles and Tony Parker, oops, Europe, Belgium, once again. If these two justices step out to Starbucks, which one do you think is likeliest to be a suspect? The Anglo male or the Latina? Neither is an immigrant, but Justice Scalia's father came through Ellis Island from Italy. And Sonia Soto, a proud Puerto Rican with generations of U.S. citizen ancestors. We could play this game all day, but the point is simple. The idea that any government official can determine who belongs in America and who doesn't simply by looking at them is completely ridiculous, unfair, and un-American. And yet this absurdity is the law of Arizona. Illinois Congressman Louise Gutierrez joining us tonight here on The Ed Show, certainly scoring high, uh, showing and illustrating absurdity uh, in the immigration laws in Arizona and in this country. Congressman, uh, why is Justin Bieber the face of, Im of the immigration debate right now? <laughs> because uh, he's on my uh, nine-year-old grandson's iPod. And we did some research into what it is young people. Because we wanted to make sure that we did this uh, from a generational perspective, too. Um, and, and that's what they are, right? It's pop culture. Um, I use them because, you know, as I look, I mean, I looked at Justin Bieber. I said, that's an American kid, right? He's from here. And most people might think with the last name of Gomez, this young romantic couple, one might be from one place and the other from another. That's the absurdity uh, of what it is we do when we assume things about people, even when I do it or you do it, when anyone does it. And we shouldn't allow the government to make those kind of basics. Because when I do it, it's just something silly, right? But when the government does it, it violates people's basic fundamental right. And you know what? You're a traffic ticket away from a nightmare in Arizona if you're under some reasonable suspicion that you're not in this country. It's wrong and it's boneheaded. I like to think that when you make fun of something, even something as serious as this, um, you laugh at it and you bring a new context. And you can learn uh, from it. Through I, the I, I and you, you can learn from it. I thought you, you taught America a great lesson today. Uh, does, the, does the Supreme Court's decision leave Arizona open legal challenges on many respects, in your you opinion? Know, I, I think it does, Ed. You know that I and others joined an amicus brief. It wasn't uh, supported uh, when the government argued against the Arizona law. Uh, the justices, I was there in the courtroom, and when they had justices ask, is this uh, racial profiling, is this discrimination, they said, we aren't alleging that, we aren't asking yeah. you to revoke the law on that. But there are others, and I think time is going to be very clearly on the side of fairness and of justice and to show how, how ridiculous and 
you know, better yet, Ed, how un-American this law is. And we're going to challenge it, and we're going to beat it in court. And if we don't beat it in court, the same way we beat Pete Wilson in Proposition 187 in the 90s in California, we're going to beat it by taking back the government in Arizona and putting in the hands of people who are going to be respectful of our Constitution and of our American well, values. Well, it certainly opens up the door for law enforcement to make a lot of on-the-street mistakes that could have some pretty serious ramifications down the road. But not to disappoint you, Congressman, we have our own Pick the Immigrant quiz for you tonight. Ava <laughs> Mendez or Ryan Gunn? Gosling, what do you think? Uh, you, you, uh, Eva Mendez is the, the American, please. Uh, well, Mendez is a Cuban American heritage, but she was born in Miami. You're exactly right. Gosling was born in Ontario. There's another one. Here's one for sports fans Alex Rodriguez or Jason Bay? Uh, Jason Bay. All right. A Rod was born in New York City. Jason Bay is a Canadian. I didn't think we'd stump you, but <laughs> but that's how easy it is, and that is it the is. point. And to and to put a law enforcement official in that untenable position, I think it I, is is really something we got to think hard about in this country. You know what, Ed? You're absolutely right. And one of the you know when you think of the police, you think of their radios, you think of their cars, you think of their guns, you think of their training. But you know what? One of the most important, if not the most important, as the police have in defending us and protecting us and serving and protecting us are the eyes and ears of the American people, of the public that's out there. Yeah. And you cannot break down that trust. There's limited resources. And I want the police going after drug dealers, gangbangers, murderers, rapists, bad people. Not the Windex-wielding lady cleaning some window at midnight at some store. Congressman Luis Gutierrez, great to have you with us on The Ed Show. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Ed. There's a lot more coming up in the next half hour.